Okay, here we are uh, where we do our little bit of electronics work here. And um, we've, got, we've got the overload and the wires um, off the top of the compressor. And we're going to extend these wires so we can... Uh, um, I want to use the same wires that came with the compressor um, because they're high temp. And, um, you know, the actual ones that came with the unit and with the proximity to that pump, uh, I wanted to, to use these. I do have this, which was another amazing find off eBay. Um, I bought this a few years back, so I can't go back and get the link, but I do have uh, somewhere I have the paperwork on the seller of this. This I've used, um, this is a high temp silicone wire. Uh, it's rated at a pretty good temperature. Uh, maybe you can, you can get it from that barcode. Um, it's 14 gauge, a little more than we need, but it'll be fine for this. So I'm going to extend the wires with this high temp silicone wire, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll be making wires up to go to the capacitor and stuff like that. Um, I'll have to decide what I'm going to mount everything in, um, so that'll determine the length of the wire. But for now, I think I'll just, um, I'll put some reasonably long lengths on there, and we'll uh, solder those on, and um, uh, we'll get back to you. Oh, and if you're interested, we do use uh, Heiko 926, uh, again, another uh, another eBay, eBay find. Uh, I did, uh, it didn't have an iron, so I did get a, a replacement iron. It was hard to find a high quality one of these that wasn't a couple hundred bucks. So uh, this is not a, this is not a high quality iron. It does say Heiko 907 on it, but I believe it was only maybe $20 or something. It's his ESD rated, but I don't know how much of that you can believe. One thing I did, I will tell you though, um, if you buy, the Heiko tips, then this is an unbelievable setup. Even though the iron is is not a not a high end iron, I mean, it's got a heating element in it, and the um, and the base is certainly uh, controlling the temperature uh, based on the resistance of this. Um, I noticed though, if you if you buy the original tips, um, factory tips or Heiko tips, uh, the soldering iron works very very well. I use uh, usually Eutectic solder. Um, this um, this is what I use a little bit heavier stuff like I do here, um, rosin core, you know, regular. This is right off the shelf stuff, nothing fancy about it. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Well, we sort of know what we're going to do as far as uh, as far as wire in this. This is uh, again really high temperature stuff. Um, it might be 200 degrees science. Um, it's, it's pretty good. I remember that, and it's really flexible. I've used it in dryers, and um, it's really flexible even when it's cold out. So that's really good for our, our project here. And then we need a line cord, and we know we want a grounded line cord um, for safety. And these are, I use these for a lot of projects. These are computer cords. A lot of times you can get a bag of them, you know, like 10 in a bag really reasonably. They're 105C um, insulation, which is great. Um, they're usually 18 gauge, which will give you um, 10 amps, especially with this length. So it'd be fine for this project, but I wanted something a little heavier duty, but I didn't want to go out and buy a heavy cord or make a heavy cord, because usually just the ends cost more than, than you want to spend for the whole project. And we're trying to really do this um, as reasonably as possible. Let me back you up a little bit here. See a little bit better. Um, yeah, we wanted to... Um, we want to try to do this reasonably, so this is this is a bit of overkill. I mean, a, a bit of underkill for us. So I don't know if there's any computer enthusiasts out there, but this is an old UPS, um, and it doesn't just need a battery. It um, I verified it is bad. Um, we tried it with a new battery. Um, Circuitry is bad. It's really not worth getting these fixed, especially this level. This is like a home uh, UPS. If you had a you know, one for the office or something, maybe that would be worth it. But I've gone ahead and taken the screws out of this. And this cord is also 105C cord, but you can see it's much heavier. Um, I imagine, well, we'll see what gauge wires in this, but I imagine it's going to be bigger than 18. It'll probably be 14. Um, I don't know if it's labeled here, but it is um, It is 105C insulation. And um, let's see what we get. Okay, we're back. Um, like I said, the screws are already out of this. Keep these around for projects like this. You may need a cord. You might need uh, something else that's in there. There are a lot of a lot of things you can reuse. Again, this is 105C insulation on here, which is great. Um, 
Well, it looks like we've been into this one before. Um, yeah, this cord is, is, is a nice cord. It looks like it's at least 16 gauge um, wire, but we'll check that. It's got a choke on it, which is really just for noise interference. We don't really need that. It's got a circuit breaker in it, which is probably um, probably 15 amps, which I think we'll, uh, we'll probably keep. Um, we'll check, see if there's a rating on that. I don't want to use it if it's 10, but if it's 15, we might use it. Um, it looks like this piece is part of the case, and this just pushes in, so whatever we use it in, we'll uh, probably have to probably have to drill a hole for it to use it. So we'll just, looks like it's got a couple tangs on it. We'll just depress those tangs. He's in there pretty good. Okay. Yeah, it's just got like two little tangs in it, so we'll uh, we'll measure that and we'll we'll just drill a hole in whatever we're doing because this is part of the case. It's not like we can reuse this ring, which is a shame because that would be nice. Maybe we can figure out a way to do that, cut that out, and then screw it to uh, whatever you're using because that's kind of nice. Um, okay. So what do we got going on here? We got um, we got a pair of cutters. Probably the cheapest pair anyone could own, but uh, they're laying around, so we'll use them. Let's see, let's just cut this little wire tie right here. Do that up a little bit, see what we got going on. Okay, this goes right to the outlet strip. So that's nice. Um, line cord comes in here, new circuit breaker, two feeders off of it. Let's see if, what it's rated at. It's, um, I don't see a current rating on it, I just see a voltage rating on it. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll try to look it up. And uh, if it's, um, oh, no, it's 15 amps. It's 15 amps. I don't know if it's the rating of the breaker or just the rating of what, what, the, um, what the device is rated at. But we might have a way to test that. Um, yeah, I think we can. Here's the neutral. And it also goes right to the, uh, right to the bus. This would be the one that's, of course, not, uh, not badly backed up. Around. I think, uh, well, the cord will be great. I don't know if we're going to use this breaker or not now that I see it. Let's see. I certainly don't need the choke. We'll, uh, we might use this. So uh, I got the iron on. Let me just see if I can pull the solder off here. Well, you can add a little bit and use a solder sucker for this, but this came right out. I might not actually have to add that much wire on here. This is pretty, pretty nice. So there we go. We got a UPS power cord. Um, let's see if the size is on here, but it feels it's at least 16. Let's 
see if it's if it's on the cord itself. It's sixteen. Three three by sixteen. So there's um hundred and five degrees C, three by sixteen. AWG. So that tells us um, we have three three conductors in here, 16 gauge. Uh, 16 gauge is probably rated at 12 amps, um, but it'll be fine for what we're doing. That that compressor only draws five, and since we're using it for recovery system, it's not going to really be under even that kind of a load. Um, so yeah, so we're going to go with this wire, and maybe we'll use this breaker. We'll see. And um, we'll get going on that. We still have our shaders to put on that recovery system. Um, I'm hoping uh, we get that we get that back today. And um, I dropped it off to get the get the freon reclaimed out of that. And we'll uh, we'll continue.